All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at the GoDaddy website builder. Now, to me, it's the best builder there is, and I don't know if it's because I'm biased, because I worked there for a couple of years, but here in 2022, we're gonna take another look at the website builder, and we're gonna find out if I still feel the same way, so let's check it out. All right, so here we go. We are looking at GoDaddy right now, and let's go ahead and get into their website builder. So what I'm gonna do is, I've already created an account um, their website builder is free to use in the very beginning. Uh, same like with all the other builders that I've covered on this channel so far. So let's go ahead and take a look at GoDaddy right now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to hosting because they actually moved their website building under hosting and we're gonna go ahead and start for free, okay? So they do have e-commerce, they do have a regular um, basic, you know, brochure style websites. Um, you can even connect uh, their email kind of autoresponder platform to it and create some really nice emails. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive in and, and, and see what else we can do. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a basic website. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Okay, and we are going to do a real estate agent. All right. And let's just do Valley. All right, let's let's actually Valley Wide Real Estate. Okay. All right. So let's continue here. And their layout is very, very similar to the other layouts that I've worked with before. Um, except this one is a little bit more static, meaning that you can't just drag and drop anything wherever you want it, okay? So here we go. This is what the website builder looks like, okay? All right, and you have all of your sections that it automatically starts you out with. And I don't remember if you can actually start with uh, no template, but if you really wanted to, I guess you could just go in here and delete every section and then just build the sections out yourself but it gives you kind of an idea layout if you decide to take it from just the uh, the populated site that they decide to give. So you have that header up here with that nice image in the background. You got a call to action right here on the top. All right, then the next section, you've got a little bit of a you know H1 header, H2 header, and then you got some text under that. Then you got meet the team with the different images, and then you have your listings, okay? Now, I don't believe this actually, let me see if this integrates with a listing service. Yeah, it looks like you just actually add your list, your um, your listings manually in here. It would be interesting to see if they did have something like that. And maybe outside of this, there's two different sections to this, and I'll show it to you in a second here. So then you have services. Okay, you've got some other stuff here. Then you've got the subscribe button, then you've got your social media, and then you've got a last call to action followed by a footer, okay? So the very first thing that I'd want to do uh, when I come here is, oh, very interesting. They've added the pop-on feature. That's nice to see. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the settings, okay? And this website is not published yet. That's okay. So I'm going to click on the basic information. And then I would just go ahead and put in the email. Uh -oh. Fantastic. And then we'll just go ahead and just do an address. Okay, let me just go Main Street. Okay, there we go. So we'll just do Scottsdale and we'll just kind of put in a phone number here. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and hit done. As you can see, all of that stuff is populating in the very top. Um, for the phone number, I will just go ahead and put some dashes in between here. Okay. And then we've got social media links, so you can come in here and you can link all of your social media together. It looks like you may be able to also 
click this button just to connect to your social media. Yeah, so you can connect your social media directly to your GoDaddy account. Okay, so we're going to go back to settings. Then we're going to go to a favicon, which is this little image up here. So you can, if you have an image on your computer, you can upload that favicon. Fantastic. All right, and then we got get found on Google. So this is, uh, they've integrated with Google My Business. So you can go ahead and connect your Google My Business and I believe build it from here. Google My Business is any time that you search for a business inside of Google and you'll see the three listings below the ads in your local marketplace. All right, let's go back to settings. Um, cookie banner, so let's go ahead and take a look at that so this website uses cookies so this is if you're marketing and um, you want to let people know that you're using cookies the whole gdpr thing so we've got that that's uh, right there as well okay let's go back to settings and then we've got google analytics so you would just go to google analytics and you would actually put in your your analytics um, id there you've got your facebook pixel the same thing with your facebook pixel You've got the Facebook tag, Pinterest tag, and then you have Google AdSense. So let's say you decided to have a blog section on this website. Well, you could add your Google AdSense to this uh, here as well, okay? All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how to um, make changes on the homepage, okay? So it all works in sections, okay? So, um, I don't believe that you can get rid of anything. One thing that I do think that you can do is just kind of delete it. And that kind of gets, okay, so that that's what gets rid of a, a particular section for you. All right, but um, let's see what that said. Uh, here, just welcome to uh, VRE, okay? Value, value added listing, okay, fantastic. So you just click, so you click anywhere. No, that's fine. So you kind of click anywhere in this section and it'll bring up this column over here to the right. So you can actually click in here. You can change not only the image, but the layout um, of, of how it looks. So you can blur the background, you can change it like that, do like that. You can do all these different things. You can actually come in here and you can change the image. And then let me see if yeah so you can actually select the images that they already have in here they're pulling in from different uh, libraries and stuff like that or you can actually just change this all together you can go to a video or looking you can see that or you can go to a slideshow okay and do something like that totally up to you all right so view listings here so this you can um, make it to where it can go to a totally separate page or you can link this to a section on your Homepage. So when you say view listings, it'll actually bring you down a little bit. So you can actually, so you click this and it'll bring you down. Okay. All right. So let's see if there's anything else inside of a section that you guys should know about. Um, it's really interesting. I believe that they had this before where you can actually bold, italicize, you can actually link um, text. Okay. So uh, let's see here. Let's go done. Site navigation. Okay. So yeah, you'd be able to see the site navigation if there was site navigation, but here there isn't a site navigation. And I'll, I'll show you what that looks like here in just a moment, okay? But as you go down, essentially, like I said, you can click, okay? Um, you can actually change out this layout, all right? Let's go back to the About section. Um, so the accent, let me actually click on, oh, okay, yeah. So you can actually change the accent, the color, uh, you can move to the left, the text on the bottom of the team. You can change the text where it says meet the team. You can come here and drag and scroll and, and move any of these people anywhere you want them to be. If you want to actually change some of the image, you just click on the actual section that you want to change and then you can change the text about, well, you change the text down here, but you can change the image just simply by you know clicking here and then you can also have an image description. And then where it says agent one, you can of course click there and just change it to the person's name, okay? Now the listings, same thing, you click on the outside box here, you can actually um, change the, the way that the listings are set up here, okay? Uh, you can change the accent, the alignment, all right? So you can change the alignment and then you can change the uh, order of the listings and then you can actually come in here 
and you can add another listing, okay? Let's just see that you didn't actually want to add another listing. You can come in here and you can actually just delete that right there. It says group. I was a little nervous because it said group. I wanted to be the individual one, so I was able to delete that. If you go down to our services, kind of the exact same thing. So it's very monotonous, right? You can change the layout, change the accent, move around the alignment of the text, add a, a section or uh, reorder uh, the way that these are here. All right, so then the email, okay, um, you can go ahead and, oh, this is the actual text, and then you have the sign up button, and then you can create an email. Yeah, so this is the outside of the platform where you can go to kind of build your autoresponder using GoDaddy's internal platform. So um, that is available for you as well. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll move backwards. Okay, we'll go back to the website. Okay, because that's a totally different thing. I just want to stay focused to the website right here. Then you have the footer, or you have this information here where you can just click inside here. You can change anything, you can add anything, modify it, anything else like that. So this website builder is super simple, and that's another reason why I like it. Okay, it's just, it's just very simple to use. Now, let's say you wanted to add some pages. So I'm going to click on website here and so if I click on, if you click on theme, um, you can change the overall color of the theme. Um, you can change the fonts and you can change the way that the buttons actually appear. Okay. So you can change, this is new, right? So you can change the, the way that the buttons look. Okay. All right. So then let's go to website. So if you have more than one page, like you want to actually create a services page or something else like that, or you just want to link to like a YouTube channel or you want it to be a drop down, you can actually do all that stuff in here. So you can uh, make it a contact page. It'll have some custom information on it. You can actually start with a blank page. So that tells me that I'm pretty sure you can start with a blank website as well. I just, I'm not seeing that right now. I can't really recall, but it looks like you can just kind of customize uh, how the page is. So, or you can start with it already customized. So we'll go ahead and there's the contact page, okay? All right, and then drop us a line, all that kind of stuff. You come in here and change the information. Um, I believe you can reorder these if you need to just do that there. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and create a new page. Um, let's just do gallery, okay, create page. Okay, so then it will give you a really nice gallery that you see here as well, okay? And then let's just see uh, if, like I wanted to create, you had different types of galleries. so. Let's just go ahead and create a new page. Um, well, no, not a new page. I want to drop down, okay? And this is going to be gallery two, okay? Um, okay. Gallery two, and we're going to actually link it under gallery here, okay? So then, there we go. All right, so then that's what that looks like here. And then this this top section here, so where it says that site navigation, I'm actually gonna go to the home page. So I don't actually love the way that that looks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to where it says navigation background. That's cool. So let's see here, let's go to, hmm. All right, so let's go to, See, this will, oh, this doesn't change it. It keeps it like that separated. So I don't like how it's kind of separated where you have the home and the contact and the gallery too. I'd rather have it all kind of together. So let's just go to site navigation here. Theme. So I think it is going to be in the theme, unfortunately. Yeah. Well. Yeah, see, so you've got where it looks like that right there. You got it to where it looks like that right there. Um, I was trying to click on default styles. I really feel like you should be able to. Site navigation. Eh. Website. Click on this section again. So yeah, it looks like you just have to change your theme. So essentially we've uh, gone through, you know, all the steps on this website builder. So after you're done, 
you could just hit this publish button and you can see that you have the free website right here with the GoDaddy domain extension. Okay, this is Valleywide Sites or Valleywide Real Estate sites.com. So you could use that and give that to whoever you wanted to give it to, but ideally that's not, you know, really what you want here. You want it to be able to build out your own thing and, you know, go from there. So, you know, you want to have your own domain name. So in order to connect a domain name, you just come over here to go to settings, connect the domain name, select the plan, and you would, yeah. Okay, so by, by connecting like this basic plan, it allows you to do that. So the plans here, let's see what the differences are. So you get SEO options if you do the standard, and you just get you get email marketing, which is pretty cool with the with the standard six ninety nine. You get email marketing um, with the standard. Okay, so that's the difference. Get found on Google SEO. You get email marketing with five hundred uh, sends instead of a hundred sends. And then if you do the premium, it allows you to send twenty five thousand emails a month. Book appointments online. Accept appointments or payments for appointments. Um, send text message appointment notifications. You can boost your social posts with the tool that they have. And then you also have the web website chatbot feature. So that's new. And then you can, with the 1499, it's the e-commerce plan. So do everything else before, except you can actually have an online store. You can sell on Instagram, Google, eBay, Facebook, Amazon, and beyond. You manage online and in-person sales in one place, abandoned cart recovery. So that's really cool that they've actually integrated that into this. And then let's see here, discount promotion features, discounted real-time shipping rates, and then gift cards. So yeah, this is the GoDaddy um, platform and I absolutely love it. There will be a link to um, you know, sign up to this, this website builder. It is, I would still say this is this is one of my favorites. I'm just I'm just biased. Um, there's others that I've used that are a little bit more robust, a lot more robust, but I I like it just because it's simple. It's for anybody that's a beginner. It's newbie friendly, um, and I just I really really like the way that you know this builder uh, works out. Um, me personally, I'm a huge fan of WordPress websites. Okay, and that's what I personally use on my websites. But for someone that's just getting going. GoDaddy is a good bet for you, okay? Thanks so much for watching this video. Until next time, peace.